Australia has its own little piece of Germany. Handorf is a lovely little town in the Adelaide Hills. It's the oldest surviving German settlement in Australia. European settlement of the town dates back to 1839, when land was granted to a group of Lutheran immigrants escaping from religious persecution in Prussia. They arrived on the ship the Zebra in late December 1838, just two years after the first British settlers arrived. But the passengers on the Zebra couldn't actually disembark due to low tides and mudflats until early January 1839. The captain of the Zebra, Dirk Hahn, who was actually Danish, could speak English and help the new arrivals find land for them to farm. The settlement was called Harndorf, Hahn's village, in honour of him. There were 38 families who arrived on the Zebra and they were joined by 14 families who had earlier settled at Clemsic on the Adelaide Plain. These families formed the group of 52 pioneering families whose names are on the Pioneer Memorial Arch in the town. The settlers built the type of homes that were familiar to them and they can still be seen in Harndorf today. This style of architecture is called fashwork, post and beaten construction, which can be found in many historic town centres in Germany. When the settlement was laid out, houses were built on the main road with the farmland behind them. The majority of those houses have now been converted to a variety of businesses. The houses were built with steep roofs. Back in Prussia, this was for the snow to slide off the roof. Heavy snowfall wasn't something that was going to happen in the Adelaide Hills. The occasional snow flurry every few years was the most that they could expect. Being so close to Adelaide, it's only a 20 minute drive up the freeway and you can catch a public bus to the town. Armdorf's main street is a popular weekend destination for day trippers. The German Arms Hotel, a great spot for lunch. It was built in 1861, replacing the earlier 1839 hotel that had burnt down. The hotel was a staging point for the Cobb & Co coaches, public transport 19th century style. Handorf Mill had been the area's flour mill and now it's a restaurant and bar complex. Handorf is popular all year round. Here it looks very empty, but that's because I deliberately visited on a weekday when I knew there'd be fewer people and I tried to avoid filming anyone. Autumn is a particularly nice time to go because of all the local colour. German specialty shops including a grocery store. This one advertises that it sells German lollies, translation for the Brits, German sweets and for the North Americans, German candy. Visitors come to wander down the main street with the shops, galleries, cafes and restaurants. chestnut, cork, elm and plane trees were planted along the main road of Handorf and they make a wonderful tunnel as you enter or exit the town. The Japanese maple trees are newer additions and they were planted around 10 years ago and I love the colour that they add to the town. Handorf is a part of this big wide world that can be found if you visit Australia.